Hey, Reed here with Wild Night Skies, and I wanted to make a quick video demonstrating how to create one of my favorite simple animations for astrophotos. It's a flying through stars effect combined with a zoom. I feel like it just adds a cool 3D motion effect to a still photo, which is fun because astrophotography doesn't really lend itself to video or animation uh, too well, but this is a fun way to bring a new dimension to still photos. So, I hope you like it. So I started seeing this kind of cool animation pop up on Instagram maybe uh, probably six months ago and right away I was like, okay, I love this. This is really cool. Um, it's a nice way to add a 3D effect to photos, uh, kind of make them live and you can post them maybe you know, as reels, not just still photos. It just adds a whole new dimension to, to the kind of photos that I was taking in particular. Um, and so I kind of started reading some, reading the comments and saw that, uh, the person that created one of the, um, uh, animations that I was looking at was using After Effects. Um, and I thought to myself, oh, okay, well, how hard could that be? <laughs> so, ah, one, uh, I had no idea how complex and huge of a program After Effects is, um, it's a mega program, mega piece of software. Um, so I'm not going to act like I have really any idea how to use it. Um, but number two, I have learned, uh, how to use it in a simple way that really works well for me. And, um, I kind of wanted just to share my experience with that and see if anyone might, you know, gain anything out of it. Um, and be able to use it, um, even though it's really intimidating to start with. So, um, all right. So anyway, I started trying to figure out how to do this similar flying through the stars, zooming in on a really nice astro photo, a nice subject like a galaxy or a nebula. Um, I found a few brief vid videos that were basically just showing you how to uh, uh, create an infinite star field, so stars that were continually flying at your face, which is really cool, but um, they skipped a lot of different uh, details, didn't show the whole process, certainly didn't show how to add it on to an astro photo, which is the, you know, the, the finished product that I wanted to see. So I struggled and had a hard time finally, you know, getting it all together. Um, but when I did, I was like, okay, this is actually pretty simple when you actually see all the processes beginning to end, you know how it works. So what I'm going to do in this demo um, is try to create a video that shows, you know, all the steps in a concise way, not very long, try to make it s still pretty short. Um, but I don't want to skip any steps. I want to show how to get this animation created. I want to show how to combine it onto a photo and create a final product. So um, that's what I'm going to try to attempt here to do. Um, so let's jump over into After Effects. Okay, here we are. So let's open up Adobe After Effects. First thing we're going to do is start a new project. Then we're going to click New Composition from Footage. And I'm going to choose this Orion uh, photo that I've created and cropped in Photoshop. And I've already cropped it to the right aspect ratio for YouTube and pretty much anything else. Uh, you know, widescreen, holding a phone sideways, TV, computer screens, whatever it might be. 16.9 is, uh, 16 by 9 is the, the aspect ratio you want to go for. So I know it's correct. Uh, I don't have to mess with it. Um, next thing that we're going to do is right click on composition and check our composition settings. Usually mine come in custom. My pixel size is a little different than the 19 by, 1920 by 1080 p um, That's pretty standard. That makes a lot of these pictures really tight and small because the pictures I have are pretty high resolution. Um, so I leave it like that because I know it's going to work out um, when I render it. And I like 30 frames per second. Um, I don't use drop frames. And for this one, I am going to leave the duration for 30 seconds. A lot of times I'll do 15 or 20. People get bored after 30 seconds a lot of times on <laughs> on Instagram Reels or, or YouTube Shorts. But for this one, uh, I'll just leave it on 30 seconds just for certain reasons. Push OK. 
and then uh, I'm just jump in here and show you something you know you can double click on your composition layer you can move your anchor point around let's say if I wanted uh, this anchor point is going to dictate where the animation takes place so for a zoom it for instance if we leave it right there um, it's going to zoom in right to that spot if we leave it right here it'll zoom in right to that spot if we put it right on Ryan's little head here it'll zoom in right there but um, for this video, I really like it to just zoom in straight to the center of the frame. And then, next thing we'll do is we can just go down to the drop down here in our composition. And drop down next to transform. Click the stopwatch next to scale. And we want it to be 100% to start, obviously, um, with the full frame there. And then, um, I'll just scroll to the very end, 30 seconds. Click the diamond to create another keyframe. In this case, I want to zoom in to 275%. I just like the way that looks at the end. Um, it looks good to me. And uh, you know, we can zoom back out and see that it's working. Click the space bar. Start our quick animation. Really simple zoom in animation. Don't want to waste too much time doing that. It's simple. It works great. So the next thing that we want to do. So we want to run over here to our effects and presets. And if you don't see this, you can click on this double arrow and just click on all panels. That way you can you can see everything you need to see. Um, we're going to search for CC Particle World. I'm going to grab it, pull it over here, and drop it on top of our Ryan Comp. And it's going to bring this panel up here. And we have a few settings. Um, that we want to go through here. Uh, the first is um, setting our birth rate. I'm not going to go through how explaining all this because I don't really even understand it. I've just exper experimented with it and learned a little bit um, from some, some different videos and then just changing the values on my own to get the effect I want. But basically we're going to start with a birth rate of the stars, a value of 15, longevity, of 20. Then we're going to click the drop down next to the producer button and change the radius for X, Y, and Z to 1 for each one of them. Then we're going to click the drop down arrow next to physics and drop down the explosive next to animation and change that to direction axis. The velocity I am going to drop to 0.2 because I like that speed, I just know I like that speed. Um, change everything else to zero, except for the extra angle. We're going to change to 90 degrees. 90 degrees will have the stars flying toward you. Um, so you can experiment with that. You can change the degree angle. Uh, if you want the stars flying the opposite, flying away from you, I believe you switch it to 270 if you want them flying you know sideways go zero or 180 I believe and you can experiment with that if that works for you um, so then we're done there with the physics and we'll drop down here uh, next to the particle we're going to change the particle type from line to a faded sphere and then for the birth size uh, I want point zero two and for the death size I want 0 0.02 just the size of the star uh, you can change that as much as you want make it bigger smaller whatever you feel like you, you think will look good um, and just experiment with it but I think for this I, I know I like 0 0.02 um, size variation and max opacity we're gonna change to 100 percent for both of those and then change the color of the star from birth to death. We want it to be white because that looks like a star. So just change both of those to white. And then we are done with the particle drop down. And we'll do one more drop down into extras. We're going to click on the stopwatch and check next to composite with original. This is the part that really messed me up for a long time. The value or the videos that I watched never quite got, um, never completely explained this. If you have footage like this, like this Orion Nebula that 
you actually have to get in here and click composite with original to get the effect on top of the layer and again I'm not very good really at After Effects I can get it to do what I want but that took me a long time so hopefully that helps somebody if you've watched this long into this video so far so now um, you can kinda see click down there on our timeline hit enter and our effect is taking place our stars are flying by and they look really good um, to me I like the speed I like the feel I like the 3D uh, kind of effect that it gives. Zoom in flying through the stars. So anyway, if you um, uh, watched this long, uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Hope you liked it. Um, of course, I guess I started out the video by saying I was going to try to do it really completely from start to finish. So I suppose um, I had better you know, uh, actually complete this. So what we want to do, you know, obviously this isn't a video yet, so we want to render it. Um, I'm just going to pause this, doesn't matter. Go up to file, we're going to export it, and we're going to add it to Adobe Media Encoder. And it'll pop up here in just a second. <laughs> Okay, and then the default usually pops up. You want to definitely have H.264 set there, and then match source high bit rate. This works really well for YouTube. Um, different uh, for Instagram Reels and Shorts and things like that. I have a different preset that's um, that's got some different settings in it, and I'll probably make a video on that too. Uh, but anyway, click the green arrow, and it'll render. This will take probably two or three minutes, so I'll fast forward through this. Um, and see you uh, here shortly. Alright, and we are back. It's done rendering. And click on our little uh, saved file there. And I'm going to shrink everything down. And it pops up in the, stand in the default saved folder, local temp, untitled project. Anyway, you can change that. I should change it to my desktop, but I still have it. But anyway, let me pull that out of here, drag and drop it, and there you go. There is our beautiful flying through the stars animation of the Orion Nebula. Um, this has been a fun project for me. Um, I've, I've learned a lot, and I hope that I help somebody else learn a lot. Even if there's two or three people that learn how to do this uh, because of this video quicker than I learned, and I'm super happy. Thanks again for watching. This has been great, and we'll see you next time.